Hello, I'm Teresa. Today I'll show you how to make chocolate and hazelnut entremet. My entremet consists of chocolate and hazelnut base, vanilla creme, milk chocolate ganache, hazelnut Bavarian cream, milk chocolate mirror glaze, milk chocolate ganache for decoration, and dark chocolate decorations. To make chocolate and hazelnut base, first I need to make hazelnut crumble. To make hazelnut crumble, I will put flour, muscovado sugar and toasted hazelnuts into a food processor. I will add cold butter cut in cubes. Now I'm gonna pulse until I get crumbly mixture. I'll transfer the mixture onto a paper lined baking tray and spread it with my hands. Then I'll put everything in the fridge for about 15 minutes. After that, I will bake my crumble at 180 degrees centigrade, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes until golden. I will leave it to cool down. Our hazelnut crumble is done, so we can start making chocolate and hazelnut base. Chocolate and hazelnut base. To make the base, I've placed pure hazelnut paste into a bowl. I'll add melted dark chocolate and melted butter into the paste and stir well with my silicone spatula. Then I'm gonna add crumble that I've previously crushed into small pieces. I will mix everything thoroughly so that crumble gets evenly coated. I've placed 16 cm, which is 6 inches in diameter cake ring onto a cake board and now I will line it with acetate strip. Then I'll transfer my chocolate and hazelnut base mixture into the prepared ring. I will spread the mixture using my small spatula until it covers the bottom of the mold evenly. You can use the back of the tablespoon if you feel more comfortable. I will put my chocolate and hazelnut base in the freezer and leave it to set. Vanilla creme. Next thing I'm gonna do is make vanilla creme. To do that, first I'll soak gelatin in cold water. As soon as my gelatin softens, I will take it out and squeeze to get rid of the excess water. I'll briefly whisk egg yolks with sugar. I'll put cream and vanilla powder into a saucepan and heat it up. When the steam starts to appear, I will remove the pan from the stove. I'll temper the yolk mixture with approximately half of the heated cream. I'm gonna stir well. Then I'll return everything back into the pan and I'll give it a light stir. I'll put the pan on the stove, insert the probe of my digital candy thermometer into the mixture and continue cooking, stirring constantly until the temperature reaches 84 degrees centigrade, which is 183 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I will remove the pan from the heat and strain the mixture into a clean bowl. I will add soaked gelatin and stir until it melts. I will leave my vanilla creme to cool down a bit. When my vanilla creme cools down and thickens a little bit, I'm gonna pour it on top of the frozen base and put everything back in the freezer to set. Milk chocolate ganache. Next, I'll make milk chocolate ganache. I've melted milk chocolate in the microwave on low heat. Now I'll add cream that I've previously heated in the microwave. The cream should be hot, but not boiling. 
I'll gently stir with the whisk until ganache becomes uniform. Then I will pour ganache over the frozen vanilla creme and swirl the mold to distribute the ganache evenly. I'll tap the mold against the counter to get rid of the air bubbles on the surface of the ganache. Then I'll put everything back in the freezer to set so that I have time to make my hazelnut Bavarian cream. Hazelnut Bavarian cream. To make hazelnut Bavarian cream, I'll soak gelatin in cold water. As soon as my gelatin softens, I will take it out and squeeze to get rid of the excess water. I'll briefly whisk egg yolks and sugar. Then I will put milk and cream into a saucepan. When the steam starts to appear, I will remove the pan from the stove. I'll temper the yolk mixture with approximately half of the heated cream. I'm gonna stir well. Then I'll return everything back into the pan and I'll give it a light stir. I'll put the pan on the stove, insert the probe of my digital candy thermometer into the mixture and continue cooking, stirring constantly until the temperature reaches 84 degrees centigrade, which is 183 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, I will remove the pan from the stove and add soaked gelatin. I'll stir until it melts. Then I'm gonna strain the mixture into pure hazelnut paste. I will mix with whisk until the mixture becomes uniform. I will leave this mixture to cool down to 30 degrees centigrade, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I've put 255 grams, which is 9 ounces of whipping cream into a bowl of a stand mixer fitted with whisk attachment. I'll mix on medium speed until soft peaks form. My hazelnut mixture is cooled and now I will incorporate it into whipped cream. I'll mix until the mixture becomes uniform. Assembly now I will remove the frozen insert from the mold and peel off the acetate strip. I will line my 18 cm, which is 7 inches in diameter round cake ring with acetate strip. I will put it onto a cake board so that my frozen insert is exactly in the middle of the mold. To make sure that my insert is in the right position, I'll use my wooden 1 cm, which is 3 8 of an inch wide popsicle stick. Then I will pour hazelnut Bavarian cream over the insert. To prevent leaking, first I'll pour only a small quantity of Bavarian cream so that it covers the bottom of the mold and then I'll put the cake in the freezer to set. My bottom layer is set, so I will fill the mold with the Bavarian cream all the way to the top and put everything back in the freezer until it becomes frozen solid. Milk chocolate mirror glaze to make milk chocolate mirror glaze, I'll soak gelatin in cold water. As soon as my gelatin softens, I'll take it out and squeeze to get rid of the excess water. I'll put water and sugar into a saucepan and cook until it boils. I'll add glucose syrup and insert the probe of my digital candy thermometer into the syrup.
When the temperature reaches 103 degrees centigrade, which is 217 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll remove the mixture from the stove and pour it over the condensed milk. I will mix with the whisk to combine. I'll add soaked gelatin and stir with the whisk until melted. Then I will add milk chocolate. I'll blend my glaze with immersion blender until it becomes uniform. Then I'll cover it with cling film and leave it in the fridge overnight. Milk chocolate ganache. To make milk chocolate ganache, I've melted milk chocolate in the microwave. I'll add cream that I've previously also heated in the microwave and stir with the whisk until I get uniform mixture. Then I'll add softened butter. I'll stir until the butter melts and the ganache becomes shiny. I will cover ganache with cling film and leave it at room temperature until it becomes pipeable. Dark chocolate decorations. To make dark chocolate strip, I have an acetate strip that is 2.5 cm, which is 1 inch wide, and 56.5 cm, which is 22.2 inches long. I will pipe some tempered dark chocolate on the acetate strip. Then I'll spread the chocolate with my small spatula. Using my small knife, I will immediately pick up the acetate strip and transfer it onto a clean parchment paper. I leave it there for a couple of minutes until chocolate starts to set. I line the outer rim of the 18 cm, which is 7 inches cake ring with acetate strip and tape it so it doesn't fall off the mold. My chocolate is starting to set, so now I'll wrap the strip around the prepared mold and put it in the fridge until it sets completely. To make dark chocolate discs, first I'll mix melted cocoa butter with some gold powdered coloring. I'll stir with my paintbrush until the color dissolves and then I will leave it to cool to 32 degrees centigrade, which is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I will splatter some golden cocoa butter on the acetate sheet using my brush and leave it to set. I recommend wearing one glove so that the color doesn't get under your fingernails. Then I'll pipe some tempered dark chocolate onto the acetate sheet. I'll cover the chocolate with another acetate sheet and spread the chocolate using a plastic tube. When the chocolate starts to set, I will create different sized discs by firmly pressing round cutters over the acetate. I'm using cutters that are 7.5 cm, which is 3 inches, 5 cm, which is 2 inches, and 2.5 cm, which is 1 inch in diameter. I'll put the chocolate in the fridge to set. Glazing and decorating. To properly prepare the glaze, you need to follow the procedure as follows. Melt your milk chocolate mirror glaze in the microwave on low heat, until the temperature rises to about 40 degrees centigrade, which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Leave it to cool down to 35 degrees centigrade, which is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the glaze immediately. I've removed my entremet from the mold and put it onto a smaller ring mold. Now I'll pour my milk chocolate mirror glaze over my entremet and leave the excess glaze to drip down. I 
I've transferred my entreme onto a cake board and now I will decorate it with my dark chocolate strip, which I'm gonna gently place around the bottom of the entreme. Now I'll pipe a blob of milk chocolate ganache on the entreme using my 10 millimeters, which is 3 eighths of an inch round tip. Here I have my three different sized chocolate discs. First, I will pipe a blob of ganache onto the big disc and then on the middle sized disc. I will leave the smallest chocolate disc as is. Now I will place the middle sized disc onto the big one and then put the smallest disc on top of everything. I'll place my decoration onto the ganache blob that I previously piped on my entremet. My advice to you would be to store your entremet in the fridge for a couple of hours and let it thaw slowly and gradually. That way you'll be absolutely sure that there will be no unpleasant surprises when you cut into your entremet. It would be a real shame to let something like that happen after all the hard work that you've put into making it, right? Just saying. There, my chocolate and hazelnut entreme is done. I hope that you liked my video and that it was informative and fun to watch. Until next time, my dear sweetness lovers, I wish you all the best and remember, create sweetness all day long because sweetness is happiness. See ya!